Sir, I have visual confirmation of TS 129's current position. Command post, command post. This is Viper. I have friendly forces moving towards extraction point. Oh. Heads up, our boys are coming through. Viper, this is CP. Be advised. Possible hostile forces approaching TS 129 at their 12 o'clock. Call them out. Target, Sector Bravo. Vehicle belt fed weapon. Ranger. 870 yards and close. We have three quarter back. Hey hey hey, Alias here. The initial plan was to add features like transitions, sounds and screen effects to the intro script I released a while ago. But to use them makes the syntax of the script a bit too complicated for the average user. So I kept the intro script simple as it is from the initial release and decided to write another script called Movie Maker for those more advanced in scripting. Until I have time to learn how to create a graphic user interface in Arma, which will make the script to be much easier to configure and use, we are going to use the text editor. Uh, by the way, if there is someone among you who has time and scripting knowledge to create a user interface in Arma, I'm open for uh, collaboration. Just send me a message, I'll show you what I've done so far in this direction and we take it from there. So uh, going back to the Movie Maker script, we have the shots as we did in the intro script. The setup for the camera shot is the same, so to keep it short, I'll focus only on what's new. For those who don't know how to set it up, I recommend watching the tutorial I made for the intro script, link is in the description down below. Therefore, I'll skip to the screen effect, here we have some predefined values, none, using this no effect will be applied on the screen. We have uh, night vision, which of course will uh, simulate uh, night vision effect. We have thermal view, black and white, grain, which will add some noise on the screen. We have blur effect, wet, chromatic and invert. So if I want, let's say, white effect, all I have to do is to copy this and paste it here in the script syntax. I've made a cutscene to demonstrate the screen effect. For now I ignore the transition part to keep it simple. By the way, all the cutscenes can be found initiated in init SQF file and they'll run when you start the demo mission. We copy this line, go in Arma, paste it here and run. Now let's talk about transition effect. Uh, this will bring a transition between shots. Again, we have a few predefined values. Uh, none for uh, when we don't want uh, a transition between shots. Uh, black, white and blur. I have here a cutscene made to show you how transition works. For each shot we have a different transition. I do not recommend that because it will make the clip uh, look messy. Better use one or maximum two transitions uh, per uh, cutscene. I go again in uh, init file, copy the line with the transitions uh, cutscene, paste it here and run it. Ranger. 
As you heard, each camera shot had a sound, uh, same sound actually. You can use a different sound for each shot. I used the same one because it was uh, easier for me. To use sounds, you need to have them defined in a description file. And of course, you need the sound files under your mission folder. To play a sound, all you need to do is type the name of the sound as you have it defined in the description file here as the last parameter in camera shot. As you could see, we can have text on the screen for each shot if we want to, with different uh, size, color and position. For this to work, we need a line like this before the shot in which we want the text to show up. As first parameter, we have the text we want to display. In this case, is a black uh, transition. Then we have the time in seconds, which defines how long the text will stay on the screen. Then we have uh, the position for text, which can be in the corners of the screen, or on the side, top, or bottom. Here we set the size, and the last parameter is color for which you can use a HTML color picker to find the right color for you. I hope uh, I was able to explain how the script works. If not, uh, have a look at the demo mission and see how I have done it. And if that uh, doesn't help either, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Thank you all for watching, happy editing and see you next time.